All right, guys, welcome back. We have another unboxing for you, and this is the Knives Fast channel, so please make sure you've hit uh, the subscribe button and the notification bell, and like and comment this video, and stick around for a live stream, and check me out over on Instagram, Knives Fast. Now, this box comes by way of my buddy Justin over at White Mountain Knives. You guys know if you've been around long enough, if you're new, we'll tell you. Uh, Justin runs White Mountain Knives. Go check him out, and you can get... 10% off of most brands by using code KNIVESFAST at checkout. So definitely uh, check that out and uh, really, really cool. Now, I do have another knife to show you at the end of this. So stick around. There'll be two knives in here from White Mountain and then uh, another knife from our buddy uh, Big Doug over there at Broke Ass EDC. Uh, we, Trevor's, Trevor's fussing at me for saying that, but that's okay. Thank you, Trevor. Um, so What's we're gonna your profanity. Profan Watch your profanity. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna open this knife with the Keith the Knife Freak unboxing knife. I ought to just have Trevor come over here and open it, but it's too late. It's already open. So, all right. So we're gonna see what our buddy Justin, opening? huh? What am I opening? I don't know these knives. There's one right there. Wait, let me throw this one. Oh, you're gonna throw it? Okay. You threw that one. Okay, go. All right, cool. How'd, how'd you do? That's Trevor. Everybody, say hi to Trevor. Uh, oh gosh. <laughs> okay, I have to admit that was kind of funny. All right, you're a goofball, but that was funny. All right, so I have not checked out any QSP knives in some time. So when uh, our friend Justin told me that there were some new ones, I'm like, yeah, let's do that. So uh, the first one is the Otter in S35 aluminum foil carbon fiber. And the second one will be the Gorilla, Gorilla, in 14C, stone wash blade, and micarta handle. If anybody didn't get that reference, uh, you haven't been alive for very long. So, um, but that's okay. Trevor, did you get the reference? Oh, my gosh. Really, that's Tarzan when they're trying to teach him how to speak English. And the... I've seen Tarzan since I was like... Yeah. I know, me too, but that's, that's okay. And he says, she says Gorilla, and he says, Gorilla. Okay. Okay, fine. <laughs> this is the most entertaining unboxing ever. All right, so this uh, guy is 7.87 inches. There's all your specs. We'll go over that in the review, but uh, we're going to see ah, what this knife is. See, the video is definitely on drugs. All right, so this is the Gorilla, and I really was very interested in this one uh, from the first time I saw it. Um, it's got this... Oh, we're, we're out of focus. Come on. All right, there you go. We've got this beautiful black micarta. Let's just move everything off here, and that will help with the focus. All right, beautiful black micarta. It's actually some of the darker black micarta. Uh, I know a lot of times we all talk about black micarta, and it ends up being more gray than black. It's not a loop-over clip, which is very interesting. Uh, it is not reversible either, so that is also interesting. You do have some heavy chamfering on mostly flat scales, but it does give it kind of a contoured feel because of this hefty chamfering right here. Uh, you do have a hole, so we will... Woo. Okay, uh, unfortunately that detent is a little light. Not bad, but a little light for sure, definitely. You could see that right off the bat. Uh, good on the, the flipper tab, but a little light. On, a little light on the flipper tab, really, too. But uh, there you go. Now, we do have a four-finger knife with cutouts. And I can tell you already, I am feeling that clip. Um, not bad, though. You do have uh, kind of a spot to sort of choke up there, but not really. Drop point blade with a lot of swedging. Um, really good access. Let's see. Yeah, good access to the lock bar. Uh, no problem there. Very smooth. Just wish that detent was a little bit stronger. Not shaking out, though. So, again, it's not bad. It's just a little light uh, for what it is. But, man, really good ergos. I just wish that clip was a little bit different because it is definitely, uh, if you bear down, you're definitely going to feel that clip uh, very much so. So that's the Gorilla um, kind of first impressions. We'll do a full review. You do have a lanyard hole there. All right. So that is the Gorilla. All right, and now we will go to the Otter. Now, the Otter is the more premium of the two. The Gorilla was 14C. Uh, this is S35VN, uh, and we have some fancy carbon fiber on this one. Um, 
I'm just going to box this back up. All right, so there is the Otter. Now, the Otter has the aluminum foil carbon fiber. Um, this guy over here, pretty dang grippy. This one, a little, I mean, it's not bad. It's still grippy, but it's a little more smooth. You do have a um, titanium clip that is probably, no, it's not reversible. You do have a lanyard hole. Um, very premium looking, but you do have exposed liners that, that's really interesting to me on a more premium knife to see. It is a uh, flipper only. Um, so, ooh, very nice detent on this one. Very nice. Uh, that reminds me of some of the action they have on the Finch knives that QSP produces. Very nice looking sheep's footy blade here. I like that one a lot. Um, and let's see, I'm curious with the uh, grind back here. Can I, yep, you can middle finger flick it off of the grind. Uh, so that is really cool as well. Very small knife, but I do get four fingers on it here. Uh, I am super excited to check this beauty out. This guy is really pretty. Let me wipe that blade off just a little bit. It's got oil all over the blade. And this one is S35VN, which is really, really, I mean, look how pretty that is. Very nice. All right. So that's those two. And then, like I said, I want to show you uh, guys, Big Doug sent some knives around. I've already reviewed two of the ones he sent. So that's why I'm not showing you the package because uh, it had a Devo Lush and um, shoot, what was the other one? A Miguron Moyarl, uh, which I've reviewed both of those, but he's passing these around. And I definitely wanted to show the next one. And this is uh, the newest release from Asher Knife Company. Now, I gotta go back and look at his notes to get the, the name of this, but it is coming in the next couple weeks, and I think it's called something like the Acuto or something, or Acuo, or hold on, we're gonna look. We're gonna look right now, we're gonna look right now, Big Doug. Um, Acuto, A-C-U-T-O. Um, and this, again, same as, you know, not saying this in a negative way, but Pretty much every Asher knife, you're going to get a very thin knife with a very thin blade. You're going to get a deep carry clip, and in this case, it sits down in the backspacer, and you can turn that over on both sides, so it is reversible. Uh, you do have a lanyard pin in the back, lanyard guys. Um, thumb stud opening, so here's your blade. Bam! All right. Really nice looking blade with kind of a downturn to it. Titanium scales. Uh, good access to that liner. Very, very nice. And uh, you do have a fuller. Oh, yeah. You can definitely flick it off of that fuller for real. And you can middle finger flick it off the thumb studs super easily. This is snappy. Now, I have heard that he's starting to have some of his knives made by Petrified Fish. I'm not sure. I tried to reach for a flipper there. Um, not sure if this is Petrified Fish or uh, Tuya. Um, yeah, but I'll try to find that out. I think, yeah, man. Did you see the drop on that? Woo! Okay. So, yeah, I think this is Petrified Fish, but I am not sure at all. I'm going to move some of this again. We just got to keep the focus happy here. Um, but very cool, very interesting uh, knife for sure. I'm really uh, impressed with the thinness of it. Now, you do feel that clip a little bit. We'll talk more about that in the review. Good jimping, good thumb ramp, great sharpening choil. Uh, love the shape of the blade. It's kind of a it's, it's started to be a drop, and then we just clipped it here. So it's definitely a clip point. Uh, really interesting, uh, crazy-looking shape. It really, I mean, it's, it's completely different uh, than a lot of knives out there right now, shape-wise to that blade. So that's really, really interesting. So let's put all three of these out. That is the Asher Acuto. And the way Doug put it, let's just read this one more time. I think he said coming this month. Um, oh, by the way, uh, the, the name Acuto is apparently Italian for sharp. So that's interesting. Dropping sometime in February. That's all we know. So if you're not signed up for the Asher mail email list, go over to asherknives.com, sign up for Justin's email list, and you will get an email telling you when these drop. If you're not on the email, you're pretty much not going to get one. So if you're interested in this knife, go over and sign up for his email. So there you go. That is uh, the QSP Gorilla. 
the QSP Otter, both sent to me by White Mountain Knives, and the Asher Acuto sent to me by Big Doug. So thanks so much, guys, for watching. Uh, thank you for all your incredible support. Make sure you like, comment, hit that subscribe and notification bell, and thank you for watching the Knives Fest channel.